Hi children, how are you all? Hope you are well and good. So today in this video we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 4, working with MS Paint. But before starting the chapter, I'd like to conclude one thing. I'd like to share a, uh, I'd to share a shortcut method uh, to change the background of your desktop wallpaper. Please have a look at the screen what I'm showing you over here. Please. Now this is the screen. This is the screen. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, be, uh, you have to go to the desired location where you have kept your wallpapers. Suppose in my computer, I have kept my uh, all my uh, wallpapers in one folder. See, uh, in this folder, I have kept all my wallpapers. You can see all the wallpapers over here. From this wallpaper, uh, suppose if I want to uh, keep this, uh, keep this, uh, keep this uh, picture as my wallpaper. I mean, I want to set this picture as my wallpaper. What I will do? I have to make a right click on this picture one menu will open so you can see here this is the menu in this menu you can uh, you can see here uh, an option is there uh, set as desktop background please make a click on this set as desktop background you can see this picture is been applied on your screen on my screen again if i need to change it and i uh, want this wallpaper to set as a desktop background then i'll make a right click then set as desktop background and this desktop background will be applied in the screen you can see here okay so uh, this is the this is the procedure how you can change your desktop background in a shortcut way as well as uh, if you don't want to keep any wallpaper on your screen if you don't want to keep any wallpaper on your screen so you want to put any color as a desktop background then what you will do you will make a right click on any place on the screen go to the personalized option see this is the personalized option make a click on this personalized option this will open here in this option the background change the picture from solid to from uh, picture to solid color okay you can see here various colors are present from here you can select any of the color you can select any of the color suppose i'm selecting this color you can see this color is applied on the screen as a screen background again if we select this color this color will be applied as background like this we can we can we can select any of the colors we can select any of the color from here and set it as a desktop background along with this you can also select any color of your own choice from here from this custom color sorry from this uh, custom color option from this custom color option you can select any color for your desktop background you can see i'm selecting any color i'm selecting any color from here i'm selecting customizing my color and then done this color is applied as my desktop background okay now this was the shortcut method and now we will move on to our uh, new chapter that is ms paint Got it? now children talking about this ms paint software this software comes as a part of the microsoft windows operating system okay the full form of ms paint is microsoft paint this is an application software and with the help of this software you can do various drawings various you can draw various objects various sceneries various greetings card posters etc you can do various objects with the help of this with the help of the tools given in this application software okay now children the fact is how to open this ms paint software in your computer please have a look in the screen what i'm showing you here so this is my screen this is my screen and on the screen what you have to do you have to move to the search box okay make a click on the search box and type here p a i n t paint see the shortcut appeared the shortcut for the paint software appeared and you have to make a click on this software on this uh, shortcut and the window will open the paint window will open see this is the paint window again i am showing you how to open paint window on your computer first of all you have to make a click on this search box type here p a i n t paint and then make a click on the shortcut the window of paint will open like this got it so now now children uh, the components of this paint window okay what are the components of this paint window you can see here this is the title bar you can see here one title bar is here uh, just at the top at the top of the uh, software you can see here the red bar this is the title bar you all know children and these are the tabs this is the file tab okay this is the home tab and this is the view tab three tabs are there this is the file tab this is the home tab 
and this is the view tab got it now up just below this tab there is a ribbon you can see here this is the ribbon okay this is the ribbon on this ribbon various tools are given with the help of which you can draw various objects and finally this white place this is the work area this white place is known as the work area of the software got it now children talking about this white portion white area of the software this is known as the work area as well as this is also known as the drawing area of the software why it is known as the drawing area of the software because you make you make drawings you can make drawing on this area you can make drawing on this area with the help of various tools given in the given in the tabs okay you can also fill colors like this you can also fill colors like this you can also okay now the fact is there are three tabs on the top first one is the file tab in the file tab there are various options given the new option open option save option save as option print option various options are given and just beside the file tab the home tab is given in this home tab various tools are given various tools options are given so that you can draw with the help of those tools and just beside the home tab you can see here the view tab is there view tab in this view tab this tab contains the buttons that lets us work on our drawing in various views see we can zoom the drawing with the help of this zoom in option you can zoom the drawing you can zoom out the drawing you can zoom the drawing as much as you can okay and with the help of the scroll bars you can put your position on that particular place where you want to draw or why you want you want to minutely do your work and this is the zoom out option with the help of this zoom out option you can zoom out the picture like this okay so this was this, these are the these are the options which are given in the view tab now in my next video we will discuss uh, minutely we will discuss in details that what are the functions of the options given in the view tab and the home tabs okay till then thank you very much